network marketing is not to come off like a network marketer. That's the, people don't have a problem with network marketing. They just don't like many network marketers <laughs> a whole lot. So yeah, that post that Nakia did was was brilliant, right? Now right. there's there's some truth to it. To put up pictures of world's finest chocolate candy bars and say stuff like, well, if you sold these, then you don't have a problem selling. That is somewhat true. However, here's the deal with the world's finest chocolate post. Yes, we all sold that as kids, but we only we didn't sell it for the rest of our lives, right? We didn't sell it all throughout our... <laughs> right, because we had a goal. We had right. A goal with Krispy Kreme donuts. Like exactly. It was only for like a, it was only for like a month or two. You had a goal. There were prizes there. And right. and and so anybody can do anything for the short term. But it's right. different when you're trying to do it for the long term. On top of that, we had youth and cuteness on our side. We all knew <laughs> as you know what I'm saying? We all knew as kids. Shoot. Right, right. If we tell somebody that, I mean, look at what we buy now. They don't even do world's finest chocolate like that anymore. I'm buying gift wrap, and I don't even buy gifts. Right, right. exactly. <laughs> I have. Or yeah, I, cookie dough. Yeah, why are y'all selling yeah. cookie dough? I can go to Publix and get that, but you know why we still buy it? Because the kids are cute, and so kids can sell anything. Adults ain't uh, that cute. <laughs> <laughs> So while I love Nakia's post, and while it is true, she was trying to speak to the mindset of, of the majority of people. While her post yeah. is true, it, it kind of sort of is slanted because it's it's a different concept. So here's how you sell. You, people do not want to sell. Correct. Nobody joined my team saying to me, hey, Kim, I really, I really want to become a super salesperson. <laughs> That's not what they did. Right. And I don't think, uh, hey, I really want to master the art of sales. And I don't think anybody is ever going to join my team and say that because people don't want to sell. That is why, Denise, I don't sell them on selling. Right. right. I understand. That's not what I'm selling here. I am, I'm selling them on personal development. I'm selling them on stretching themselves. I'm selling them on Hey, listen, the time is going to pass anyway. Five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, do you want to be as broke as you are today? If, if you do, that's going to be a shame because you're going to be older. You're going to have less energy. You're going to have less propensity to change. And you're going to wish you had done it today. Yes, ma'am. That's going to be a big problem. <laughs> right. So when you're talking to your people and they say things like, but I don't want to sell, don't be offended. Of course they don't want to sell. You got, you got to flip that script, though. You have to flip in their mind how they think about doing this. That's so true. When I get on Facebook Live, if, if, if ever I'm having a really, really good conversation with a customer, they're like, oh, my gosh, the products, this and that. Oh, my gosh, I just love to. Oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. These people think that I'm out here harassing my family members and friends because I ain't got no customers, but this is just a regular schmegular person that met me on YouTube and they're giving this raving, raging review. This is when I say to that person, hey, girl, you don't see my videos where I give like live testimonies. Do you mind sharing this live? And they say, oh, yeah, because as long as I don't make them go on camera and show their face, you know, you don't know how people be looking. <laughs> but as long as I do, you know, just like we're doing now and just have an audio recording and let the world know and let the world hear now anybody who's even remotely ever entertained the idea of doing what i do mm -hmm. when they hear me talking with my customer and my customer's like oh my gosh oh my gosh and i'm like yeah girl yeah girl they don't <laughs> hey you know how i do but when they hear that they now don't look at me as a salesperson which means when they join my team, they don't look at themselves as having to push products on people who don't want them and don't have the money for them. If there, if somebody right smack in your face is saying, this is so great. I look better. I feel better. Thank you, Kim. And I'm saying, yeah, well, thank you for the money. That sounds like a good thing, right? <laughs> and that's... You want people to feel better. You really want them to experience, um, you know, um, 
like we were talking about earlier, you know, you want people to experience personal development. Um, you want them to feel better in their health. You want them to have a solution to their problem. Yeah, I mean, we get we get paid to help people look great and feel better and make money if they want to. In my mind, what better thing? And see, that's what I I don't I don't look at it like I get paid to sell. I get paid to sell health and wellness products through the vehicle of M and M L M. No, that's right. not what I do. I get paid to help people get better bodies and better bank accounts, baby. That's right. <laughs> Right, and see, see, now see how your tone said when I changed when I said, and do you know how many times I've said that in videos? So people that want to join me, they don't want to join me to be a salesperson. They want to join me to get a better bank account. Exactly, a better body, that's right. And help other people get a better body in addition to them doing. It's never, what. so when somebody says to you that objection, just keep in mind, all I, okay, they're letting me know what they don't want to do. Now I just got to flip the script on how they think about doing this thing. Because, right. and, and the way you do that is you paint a picture of what is the greater good. What is the, the, the yeah, the bigger goal. goal. The ultimate goal. Yes. Right. Strippers, most strippers don't want to strip initially. They might come to love it later on. Say, oh, by the way, ding, 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 ding. Same thing in right. this business. Uh-huh. I was the first one to criticize network marketers. Oh, they're lazy. Oh, they're losers. They need to go get a real job. (laughs) But see, that's why I can empathize with my prospects when they say those things to me without me being offended because I used to be that person. I just didn't know what I didn't know. But strippers initially don't want to strip. But they strip, they take off their clothes for money. A lot of them, and a lot of times they have to get drunk or do certain things, not all of them, but a lot of times they have to do certain things to zone out so they can strip to get them dollar dollar bills. Why do they strip? Why do they take off their clothes in front of complete strangers if they don't want to do it? Why? Because they're keeping in mind, I'm going to make more money doing this than I would working at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, any of them things. I got three, four kids at home. I can be with my kids during the day and I can strip during the night. I can be, and, 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 and nobody really has to know. Right. If they come up in there, they tell it on themselves. Cause why, if they know I'm a stripper and they in the club too, why they in the club? So they ain't going to say nothing <laughs> cause they don't want nobody to know they in the club too. So they, right. they rationalize something that they don't want to do in order to gain something that they want because the story has been painted. Listen, you can have more time freedom, kind of sort of like the same thing we do. <laughs> you can make more money in a shorter amount of time. You can have more time freedom, blah, 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 blah. They highlight the hot, they give people the highlight reel of stripping. Right. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you for some reason now. Yeah, I mean, but no, you're, oh, are you? I don't know why. Yeah, it was a little bit. Yeah, but so you got to highlight that. You got to give people the highlight reel of network, of selling through the vehicle of network marketing. Mm-hmm. And then they won't right. even care about the fact that they're selling because it won't, it's, they, it's, they don't want, they don't mind selling. They sell on their job. They just right. don't want to feel like they're selling. Right. Especially the way that the majority of network marketers have sold to them. All of us met network marketers. All of us then went to the mall and have somebody say, Ooh, your skin is so gorgeous. And we like, thank you. And then come to find out it's a Mary Kay rep. Who wants to give you a right. facial? <laughs> and you're like, you don't really think my skin pretty. <laughs> right. right. So marketing, network marketers are all around us. They're, they're, they're all very- around us. There are network marketers who love it, like myself. There are network marketers who don't know that they will eventually be network marketers because they're not going to have a choice. Some are, yeah. Let me tell you something. Some going to come into this profession uh, willingly. And some gonna come kicking and screaming. I don't right. care. They coming regardless. Yeah, they coming. <laughs> I promise they are coming. Yeah, You're so right. Yeah, so don't get discouraged when your when your um business when your prospects tell you they don't want to sell. That what they're really telling you is I need you to articulate this opportunity in another way to me so that I forget the fact that I don't want to sell. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But I'm happy you asked that. And, 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 and again, 
People have to be told things, the, the, the same thing. You can say, I told you that. Sometimes they need multiple exposures and they need different, different ways of saying it. Oftentimes they right. need a real life application, a real world right. example. Right. That's what I was just about to say. Real life example. Yeah. As much yeah. as I tell y'all to get binary qualified, nobody really cared until I did that video on Amistad. Look, Amistad joined back in 2017. He just came back in 2020. And look, within... A few minutes of being binary qualified, he went from zero on the left and zero on the right to 40 on the left and four over 4,000 on the right. Yeah. Now y'all like, oh, so you saying I should be binary qualified? Yes! Ding, 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 ding. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. I've been you know, saying that. I, I really did. I understood the importance of that right off the bat. That's why I really wanted to go ahead and Yeah, you that. did. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I can definitely understand how you know it. At in the beginning, it's a little bit more intimidating because you you you're in that mindset where nobody's going to join me. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You have negative thoughts because you're not getting that personal development. You know what I'm saying? Right. And as you learn and you build that up, you grow. Then your mindset changes. Let me you tell know, you, Denise. Mindset. The main problem with uh, people not having success like they want in this industry, I'm going to tell you the main problem in a nutshell. People are paying more more attention to the conversations that they're having in their own head instead of, uh -huh. the, con instead of the conversations that are going on all like around them. All yep. around them by people that are all around them. Look at what Anna said yesterday. She was at work. And just in listening to her customer talk about how she hates to, what, swallow capsules and needs another vitamin or something like that, mm -hmm. she was able to literally sell her on the Nutriverse. But if Anna had been like, you know, my business isn't taking off like I want to, nobody's going to join me, I don't have time to do this business, look, I'm over here on my full-time job, How? why did I even join it? If she had been paying attention to the conversation in her own head, the things that she says to herself, and really they're not even things that... You say to yourself, they're, they're, they're thoughts of the enemy plants to always keep you from what you want. That's right. That's right. Steal, kill, and destroy. Right. There are thoughts of the enemy plants to derail you when he sees you're uh -huh. on the right track. Uh -huh. And we give those conversations so much attention that oftentimes uh -huh. we cannot even hear the conversations that are happening all around. So many people are in pain. So many people are in pain. And, in pain. and you might not have a solution for everybody. But you got a solution for a whole lot Nobody. of people. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, then, and then you also have to release yourself from the responsibility of making um, of making them be successful. You're, you can offer yeah. them a vehicle and show them how to drive it. But ultimately, if they don't follow your instructions, if they're not a good student, if they don't participate uh -huh. in their own rescue, that's on them. That's right. That's right. You got to believe that. That's the truth. Don't beat yourself up about that. Yeah. So any anybody can build a team. Not just in our company. Anybody can build a team, period. You know? Mm -hmm. um, right. And I hate to use the most horrible examples, but look at drug dealing. You know? For years, drug dealing, people people know I'm either going to go to jail or I'm going to uh, go be dead. I'm either going to get killed. But why do they sell drugs? A lot of them because of the promise. Hey, it's going to be better than working a regular job. It won't be as many hours. You're going to look cool. You're going to have nice cars. The girl's going to love you. And people will literally f forfeit their freedom or their life for the, right. for the promise because they were sold a dream. And, and for some of them, yes, there is no other way out. But that, that gets into a whole nother discussion. But it does go back to the fact that for, for many people nowadays, whether they know it or not, there will be no other way out for them except for network marketing. So they can come willingly or they can come quick kicking and screaming. They can come today or they can come five years. I am so happy and thankful and grateful that I signed up when I did. But I was one of the ones that came to this profession kicking and screaming. Yeah. Yeah, I totally understand. I'm glad I signed up when I did. Well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you signed up with me. I'll make no qualms about that. I'm grieving. Yeah. 
Yeah, but, me um, too. I'm, I'm glad all your videos, I mean, that's what gravitated me t- toward you. Um, and then my mind, you know, there was a, another girl in my area that was actually doing it. But, you know, like you tell us all the time, make videos, make videos, make yourself present, you know, put yourself out there so people can see you. And that's what did it. I, I wanted to be a part of your team. And I'm so proud of you because with the 3033 challenge, you've been knocking it out. I'm like, oh my gosh, this I is Denise. I did a video yesterday, and I was so transparent yesterday with that. I was like, oh my goodness, I touched me. See? <laughs> See? You got to go look at it when you get a chance. And is it? I will. Because I have not, I definitely have not seen a bunch of y'all's videos. And I'm just like, uh, girl, I remember there was a time when anybody who joined my team, I'm like, yeah, send me the video. The video could be an hour long. I'd be like, okay, here's my critique on the video. It was awesome. In the intro... <laughs> All right, and then on the outro, you know, now you can cut a two-minute video, and I'll be like, oh, no. I don't know when I'm going to have time to watch this. But I'm just happy that y'all are doing them. And and wasn't it? It's, it's exactly like I said. It's not as bad as you thought, right? No, it's, it's not. It's definitely not at all. Because I you see know, people just... commenting on your videos and big up on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got some major support, you know. And I love it. I love it. I love all my customers. I love the support that I get, my family, friends, and all of my team. I love everybody. It's amazing. I told you, it's a confidence booster. And then that confidence Mm -hmm. translates in other areas. Like, Right. It's the best free way to build your business. Right. It really, really is. So I'm glad Mm -hmm. that you're doing those videos. I'm glad that you brought up this situation because if somebody tells you um, they don't want to sell, so what? You already know that. <laughs> That's right. Just, well, just true. I'm glad we had a conversation too. It, um, it opens up a lot. You know, a lot of people may have the same question, but may not know how to articulate it. You know, um, you know. So it's, it's always good to have these conversations. You just never yeah. know who this is going to help. Everything is not for us. Sometimes it's for somebody else. Yeah, and, and, and I'm telling you, the majority of the objections are all going to be the same. I don't have no money uh, to do a business. Yeah. I don't have no time to do a business. I don't want to sell. I don't want to harass my family members and friends. Oh, it's one of those things. It's the, it's the same stuff. It's the same stuff all the time. <laughs> it's the same stuff all the time. So if you can learn how to handle... Just it's just, it's only like a handful of things. If you can learn how to address a handful of those things, and I'm telling you right now, Denise, you're on the right track. Cut video because if you try to have this whole, if you try to have this whole entire conversation, and if you try to answer all of their objections in one conversation, can you do it? Yes. Will you want to do it? No. It will drain you. But if you talk about this stuff on a daily basis, does I get paid to talk about the same thing, Denise? Right. I just use different people as different examples. But literally, Mm -hmm. ever since I joined this company, I've been talking about the same thing. (laughs) You know, look at how unhealthy you are. Look at how broke you are. Don't you want to change? No? Okay, well, I guarantee you're probably going to want to change tomorrow. So I'll come back, you hear? (laughs) And I'll remind you again of how unhealthy you are or how broke you are. And when I say broke, I don't just mean money. It could be money or time. And then right. people start saying, oh, she's, I thought she was talking about money this whole time. I thought you, no, I've told you that you can be time broke too. And in this, I, I have the same conversation. And then one day it just hits because you know what? People are constantly changing and the stuff around them is constantly changing too. The great job they have today may be gone tomorrow. The car that's paid yep. off today may break down tomorrow and they might you know somebody who has not been paying a car note for years might find themselves with a car note for three four five depending on the car to get six or seven hundred dollars a month who knows right right so as before they were like nah i'm straight i ain't gonna do one of your little pyramid scheme things now they're like so what is it you do exactly mm-hmm. <laughs> i knew you would come back <laughs> yeah, I knew you would be coming. I knew you would be coming. I knew you would be coming back <laughs> round. No hard feelings Come though. On. Let me tell Come you about on. this thing. So basically what I have here is a little pyramid scheme. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I like to have fun with people. 
<laughs> and they'd be like, what? I'd be like, just, I'm yeah. just, just a little jokey joke. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah, just, you gotta break the ice. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, just a little something to break the ice there. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm somewhat of a shock value person. But, um, but again, that's why a lot of people don't think of me as a network marketer. The majority of stuff that network marketers run from, that's the stuff I run too. People be like, I'm just scared. I can't do it. I'd be like, you can't do it. Not as you are today. But see, that's the thing, girl. You gonna personally... <laughs> right. right. You gonna get on this personal development and you gonna become a whole nother person. A whole nother person. Right. Whole nother person. Mm -hmm. Right. I just think I'm not gonna make money. You're not gonna make money. Until you make money. <laughs> now, when you gonna make money, I don't know. That's on you. I'm gonna give you the tools. Now, what you do with it, that's that's with you. If I give you a hammer and you use it like a screwdriver, you're going to have a problem. But if I give you a hammer and you use it like a hammer, you're going to make money pretty quickly, sis. And they be like, what? <laughs> so, I, I'm happy that you're watching the videos, that you're cutting your own videos. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Yes, I'm excited about it, too. Because I just know it's, it's just going to get better and better and better, you know. And, right. Uh, I'm excited about it. And leverage. And, uh, and here's the whole deal. You don't have to cut a video for everything. Leverage the videos that I already have. So, like I said, the right. video with me talking about my customer who had mm -hmm. family members and, that wanted to to buy, and she in, instead of her ordering everything for her family underneath me, she joined the business not to do what I do, but just to save money on this big order that she was placing for all her family members. And boom, within 24 hours, she got 350 in commission. And that would right. so, and she knows that's money that would have been in my pocket. But because I told her how to do it properly, that's money that went to her pro pocket. That that's a, all we do, Denise, is we create win-win situations. The more you can help somebody else win, I promise you, the more the you will win. And yes, and you're gonna win in a way that people are gonna want you to win. Cause the whole time that I was explaining to her, like this is how much money you're gonna get back, and then this is the bonus you're gonna get, she was like, "But are you gonna get paid, Kim?" I was like, "Oh, girl, yes, I'm gonna get paid." <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I like you, girl, but I love my son. Now I ain't gonna take money out of his mouth and put it in yours. We all gonna eat up in this piece. And she was like, "Yeah, we all gonna eat. What better? What better way?" This is not That's a right. zero sum game. It's not a pie. And oh, there's only eight pieces. So if you get three pieces, there's only five pieces left for me. No, no. This is a game of, oh my gosh. And that's what I love about this. That's what I really, truly love about this. You know, everybody wins. Everybody wins. Nobody's but, left to lose all. Right. But, but the only reason why everybody's winning is because we're doing it the right way. If you, if you right. do it in a spirit of creating a win-win then mm -hmm. everybody wins. And and as long as you go out there and tell people, Denise, hey, I'm Denise, this is how I operate. Because what you got to realize is the majority of, not just network marketers, but the majority of people, period, do not try mm -hmm. to create a win-win. And every transaction that they have with other people, it's a win-lose situation. Oh, no, you know I'm right. And I'm not going to stop until you admit I'm right. Everything yeah. is a win-lose. So if people right. are used to dealing with people where, that are always trying to be right or every time they win, the other person is on the losing end of the stick, yes, they're uh -huh. going to apply that experience to everybody. Uh-huh, that's right. That's true. And Man. it's going to take you a while to show them, no, 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 not this chick here. I'm different. Right, right, right. Man, you know, I was just having a conversation with a... Uh, uh, a colleague of mine, and we were just talking about that integrity and, and yes. all that. And, yeah, it's, man, wow, full circle. Conversation. Yeah. Wow. And a lot of people yeah. nowadays don't have it. Look at how they celebrate on social, social media. They're like, oh, my gosh, I love her. She's so transparent. She's so vulnerable. She's so, I'm like, what? Like, these are the things that we're celebrating now, people being who they are? That's like right. a revolutionary thing? Like, really? She's so real. I just love it. She's so real. What? <laughs> I was talking to one of my customers last. Uh, oh, did you see in the um, team excitement that I did um, live calls? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw 
saw that last night. I was looking at that last night. Yeah, because yeah. I want y'all to see that you can't. I talk to pe I talk to everybody the same. I don't have a customer <laughs> voice and then a team voice and then a, no a mom. No, it's every, every, it's mama voice. Everything I talk. To, yeah. I am me the same way through. And that's what happens. Right. A lot of people put their network marketer hat on, and now they think they have to be super duper professional. They have to say um, everything. They have to tell the person what they want to hear instead of telling them the doggone truth. The truth always right. wins. The truth. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Yeah, and Never tell the truth. Yeah, Honesty so is your authentic. superpower. Right. That's authentic. That's what I like. That's what drew me to you. And so that's what you have to do. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be up Yeah, there. but I was telling my customer, uh, she said something like, you so real. I said, I, I'm too old to be fake. I couldn't keep, I couldn't keep up with all the... <laughs> you are right about that. Anybody I can't that keep time? up with all the... <laughs> you remember, you remember uh, Sweet Sugar Brown? Well, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> uh, nobody got time for Hey, girl, did he... I know I don't. Mm -mm, I don't have either. time. I got, I, got, I got too much on my plate. I don't have time for that. I, I, I can't. Yeah. I just don't. Ask me a question. I'm going to give you an honest answer, and then you do with it what you please. But I'm going to give you the right. real, real. I'm not Miss Cleo. I don't know what the products will do for you. I don't know your body. Everybody's body is different. Let's get them in your not. system and see. If, you don't, if you're not happy, there's a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. That's all I got. <laughs> In a nutshell. That's all I got, dog, on it. And guess what? It works great for me. So, well, you know, that's that's what we're doing over here.